If you're new to the world of 3D printing, it can be very overwhelming. But don't worry, with the right tools and a little bit of knowledge, you can easily get started creating amazing 3D projects. Here is a simple guide on how to get started in 3D printing. First, you'll need to choose a 3D printer. Now there are several different 3D printers out there on the market, and the best one for you will depend on your budget, your experience level, and what you want to print. Now a couple of my favorites are the Ender 2 Pro by Creality because this thing is about $170 right around there US and it, it's a great starter printer and the Bamboo Lab P1P. Now this one's about $700 but it has so much more tech and it's so much faster that this thing is really worth the money. Now once you have a 3D printer you need to get some filament. Filament is the material that creates the objects on your 3D printer. It comes on a spool, something like this, and it looks kind of like Weed Whacker line when you pull it out. That's what she said. <laughs> now this feeds into the 3D printer and the 3D printer melts it to create the object you're printing. Now there are many different types of filament out there, but I highly suggest starting with PLA. It's gonna be the easiest to print with, and most of the time it's cheaper than the other materials. Some of my favorite PLAs to start with are Fulament, especially if you want a matte finish, they're really good. Protopasta for some amazing quality, and if you like the 3D printing nerd, you can get some High Five Blue. Polymaker makes some just amazing filaments all around. They come on a recyclable cardboard spool, and this stuff is some of my favorite to use ever. And also, don't forget about the TH3D Spaghetti, I really love this. They have multicolor filaments that print more than one color at one time. So when you turn that model around, you can actually see different colors. It's so good. And also Coex 3D because they're local to me and a very good filament, especially when you're starting out. Don't worry if I went a little bit fast there, I'll have all of that linked in the description below so you can get started on the journey of buying your first filament. Next, you'll need to set up and install your 3D printer. You usually do that by following the manufacturer's manual that came with your 3D printer, and that walks you through the assembly, the software or slicer setup, and configuring your 3D printer for the very first print. Now, most 3D printers these days are mostly built and they would take you roughly around 30 minutes to get fully set up. Now, there are some kits out there that could take you much longer, and there are some that come fully assembled that take you much shorter, but I would definitely plan a roughly around an hour average to get yourself set up with your brand new 3D printer. Now, once your 3D printer is set up and you have your filament, you need to choose your first 3D model to print. Now, there are many websites out there where you can get free and paid models like this awesome Stormtrooper helmet right here. Some of my favorites include Thangs, printables.com and my mini factory. I'll have those linked in the description below. You can also create your own 3D models using a CAD software, something simple like Tinkercad or something like Blender or SketchUp or Fusion 360 allows you to create your own models, your own designs and print them on your new 3D printer. Now, once you have your 3D model, you need to prepare it for printing. This process known as slicing uses a specialized software to convert your model into a file that the printer can read. Basically, it slices it up to a bunch of layers and that's how your printer prints it. This 3D printing software, known as a slicer, will allow you to change how big the model is, the layer heights, the infill, and the support structures to optimize your model for 3D printing. Now, a lot of these softwares have printers built in and a lot of the general profiles for the printers are very good, so it's a great place to start. And usually the manufacturer includes a slicer on the SD card with a profile for the machine you just bought to get you started. Real quick, if you're getting value from today's video, please hit that thumbs up, that like button. It really helps out. Also, if you wanna see more videos about 3D printing, lasers, and CNC, hit that subscribe button now if you haven't already done so. I really appreciate it. Now back to it. Now with your 3D model sliced, you're ready to start printing. Now, normally you would just save that file to an SD card that came with the printer. In some cases, like the Bamboo Lab P1P that was here earlier, you would send your file directly to the printer right over the Wi-Fi if you want to. Now, once you have it on your SD card, if you're going that route, you'll put the SD card into your printer, you'll turn the printer on, and then use the control panel to load your filament, to level the build plate, and get your 3D print started. Now the printer will start building your model layer by layer, just like the slicer told it to do, 
and you're now 3D printing. Now, while your 3D printer is printing, you'll be able to monitor the process of the print on the control panel of the printer itself, in some cases on software on your computer or even a phone app. This will allow you to make the necessary adjustments if needed and see the general status of your print while it's printing. Maybe how much time you have left, how much time has elapsed, stuff like that. Now, once your 3D print is finished, you wanna remove it from the build plate as soon as it cools down. Now, it's very important that you make sure your build plate cools all the way down before you remove it from the plate. I say that because you could damage the plate if it's not cooled all the way down. Then what you wanna do is remove any excess material or support structures if there's any printed into the model. And this will typically involve tools like maybe a needle nose pliers, a, a tweezers, and the side cutters that probably came with the printer you bought. Now just be very careful with using the side cutters because these will cut you, so you don't wanna do that. Finally, admire your finished 3D print. You'll probably wanna show it off to your friends and your family and anyone who will listen and that is perfectly normal because the first time you get something off that build plate, the first thing you ever print, it feels just amazing. Now with many prints, you can use it as it came off the printer or add additional details and finishes to make it even more personal to you. Like my death racer here. <laughs> And that's it. With a little bit of knowledge and the right tools, you can get started in 3D printing. And that will allow you to create some amazing 3D objects, pretty much anything you want. I really hope this video helped you out on your journey into 3D printing. And for more information you don't want to miss, check out this video right here.